Hi there everyone, Desiree here. Um, I am posting my first official video because I have decided to hike the northbound um, Appalachian Trail. So I thought today would be a good greeting video and then also show you my picks for what I think will suit me best um, for my through hike of the Appalachian Trail. So I was going to include this video here um, showing you everything that I'm getting. So let's get started. All right guys, so let's talk about my gear picks. So for me, um, I have decided to go with the Osprey Aura um, Anti-Gravity 50 liter pack. All right, so next thing I have here is my sleeping bag. The actual sleeping bag itself is a um, Nemo Rave. It is a 15 degree bag. I liked this bag in particular because it was not a mummy bag. It is a spoon shaped bag and it is a down bag. So that is uh, my sleeping bag. All right, so let's talk about the tent. I have gone with the Big Agnes Fly Creek Ultra Light, so the UL2. Now, what you don't see in this, and I'm not going to pull the whole thing out, but what you don't see in this is that I do actually have the footprint with it as well. It probably added a couple ounces, tops, maybe two ounces. Okay, so next thing that I have here is my Platypus um, 4 liter water filtration system. So I actually got this as a gift from a friend. I had been researching it for a while. I had been really excited about the idea of just being able to scoop it, hang it, and let it filter through and, you know, kind of filter on its own. I'm very excited about it. So let's move on to the next thing that I have, which is my Thermarest um, Neo Air X Lite sleeping pad. The only thing that I would say, just like others have said, the only thing that I would say I dislike about this pad is that it is extremely noisy. That's the only bad thing I would say about this, but again, it is very, very light. Obviously, it can fit in my hand, no problem. Let's see what we have next. Okay, guys, so, sorry about Nova. Uh, next thing I have here is my 13 liter lightweight Cita Summit bag. Um, so we will see how this works out. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. All right, so next thing we have here are my trekking poles. Now me, I'm kind of a frugal person. I don't like to spend money. And I had tried other trekking poles and just never really liked the way they fit or they felt kind of cheap if I put too much pressure on them. And they didn't inspire confidence when I was using them. Um, so I did spend the money to get these black diamond alpine cork um, trekking poles. So obviously as you can see they have the cork grip here um, and then they do have what they call a flick lock here. Um, it's so you just push it, it pops open and then you can obviously adjust the size of your trekking poles. Um, the only negative that I would say about these trekking poles is that if you push the end all the way, I'll, I'll just show you, I'll just show you. So if you push the end all the way and you accidentally, your cork opens because it doesn't stay shut. When you push it all the way in, it does not stay shut. So if you do that, it will pop open on its own and then this entire end just pops out. And then if you're walking on the trail, and you didn't realize that your end popped out, you weren't using your trekking poles, they were just hanging on your bag, they're gonna fall off and you're not gonna know. And that's $160 worth of a pole that is left on the trail somewhere in Georgia to Maine. So only thing I would say negative about these is do not push them all the way to the end. You have to at least have some grip here at the bottom so that they will lock in place. But overall, very, very happy. So I have both of them here. Uh, very happy with my trekking poles. So that is, that's something else. Let's move on. All right. So next thing we have here, I have gone with 
For my headlamp, so this is a nice little headlamp. It is by the company Petzl. Um, this is called the Actic. Um, it has multiple options, multiple functions here. In the actual headlamp, the power button is on the top there. And then one little feature that I thought was handy and it was really cool, um, not that I need it because it's on my pack, but this also actually comes with a built-in whistle in the head strap. Um, don't know if you can see that there, but so I mean I think that's pretty wonderful. It's pretty great to have a dual purpose headlamp here. Thumbs up to you guys, that's pretty great. So next thing I have here is going to be my battery pack which is going to be the Anchor 24,000 milliamps. Um, I think it's good to have a little bit extra, little bit extra battery here. We'll give it a go. I think it's going to be good. Of course it comes with its charger. The next thing that I have is a rain pack cover and then I also of course have my paracord. And then of course getting now into kind of the clothing portion, I do have here a Patagonia down jacket. Um, I actually have the Outdoor Research Helium 2 rain jacket. So let's move on here to the next couple things that I have. Um, this is actually the sports bra that I will be wearing. It's an Under Armour one sports bra. So, And then I have shorts here. They are dry fit from Nike. Um, the other couple things that I have here are just some basic um, like yoga pants. And then I will be taking these long Nike pants with me um, just in case I need it for the cold. And then as far as the rest of my clothing goes, I believe I'm just going to be taking two different kinds of shirts. So I am going to be just taking a tank top. Now this tank top is an open back. Now the other top that I have here is an REI t-shirt. So um, that as far as t-shirts go. That's probably what I'm going to be wearing. Um, the last couple things I have here for clothing goes. Um, I do have three separate types of socks that I'm going to be bringing. Um, I do have some darn tufts. I also have a smart wool. Um, now the ones that I will be wearing probably 95% of the time are my darn tough runner socks. You know, they're guaranteed for a lifetime, so I mean, how can you go wrong? So, um, those are the three socks that I will be taking, unless I am wearing my sandals, which let me grab right now for you. The Tiva sandals. So these are the originals. I have worn them. They're obviously dirty. I did go with these. Um, I think they're going to be great. They fit great. I don't have any negatives to say about them at this time. I do have a pack towel. That is something that probably is more of a luxury item. I don't necessarily need this, um, but I do believe that I will be liking it and using it. I have decided to go with a Sea to Summit. I believe this is called the X Pot. Now in my pot, I have here my titanium sport. I do have a lighter for my um, stove. I do have a cup in here. It collapses down into nothing. Again, saving of space, phenomenal. For my stove, I do have here the MSR Pocket Rocket. The Isopro um, MSR canister. I believe this is the eight ounce. And yes, it is the eight ounce. I do have here kind of my bathroom kit. Um, in here I have toothpaste, I have different assortments of pills which I will be separating. They are not gonna look like that when I'm finished here. Um, and then of course I just have band-aids and my toothbrush and a few different things that I think I will possibly need. Now in here I do have my DEET repellent. Um, so I will be applying that pretty much throughout the entire trail. I do not want to get ticks. I do not want to get bit by mosquitoes. So that is essentially my my kind of toiletry bag. I don't have the toilet paper in there. Um, I don't have the feminine hygiene products in there. So those will add a couple ounces. The only couple things that I have left here and they are kind of luxury items are my moment iPhone lenses. So I did not include them in this video. I didn't use them to shoot this video because I wanted you guys to be able to see which ones I'm using. Um, I have used these before and I cannot say enough about them. They are phenomenal. So 
What I have here is the Macro 10. So this is a Macro 10's lens from Moment. So this is phenomenal for taking really, really small up close um, shots of whatever you kind of want. I've taken wildlife shots. I've taken pictures of just, you know, flowers and cactuses. Um, these, this is phenomenal. I can't say enough. Um, the other one that I have here is the Moment Wide Angle Lens. It is the 18. Um, so these are things that I feel if you're really wanting to videotape your your experience of going on the AT or really anything at all and you don't want to spend the money on those fancy cameras and you don't want to spend the money on like GoPros and all the equipment that has to come along with them, these are fantastic. I absolutely love them. Um, and they're lightweight, you know, this, they're tiny, they're lightweight. I don't have to carry a whole bunch of extra gear like I was thinking about taking my GoPro with me. Um, but the, the weight of the GoPro and then having to take my grip with it, which has a gimbal inside of it, it was going to be crazy, crazy heavy. And then charging all of those things because you have to charge your gimbal, you have to charge your GoPro, and I'm charging my phone, I would have to charge my watch. It just was gonna be, it was gonna be way too much. So I decided against it. I got the moment lenses and I could not be happier with it. So, okay, so back to my shoes. I first have these Trail Runners um, by La Sportiva. They are the women's Bushido brand. I love these so far. I believe, I believe I will be starting the trail with these. Now, I do also have the Solomons, I believe these are Gore-Tex, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't remember, I got these a while ago. I am very happy with both my La Sportivas and my Solomons, um, so we'll, we'll see which one I start with, I've worn them both, I like them both, um, we'll see, I don't know. I will upload in future videos if there's anything that I did miss, but if you guys have any questions, uh, please comment below if you want to talk to me about gear or you have, you know, advice for me, then I am more than happy to hear it from all of you. So um, please post anything below if you have ideas, hints, you know, advice please let me know. So again, my name is Desiree and I am hiking the Appalachian Trail northbound of 2018. Thank you. All right, guys.